Hi, what's up, y'all? What's poppin'? It's Deeb. I was back to this video about funny local news. This is funniest live TV interviews gone wrong 2019. Um, so we're gonna see how these interviews have gone wrong. These compilations are usually pretty funny. Uh, people be doing a whole bunch of rhyme stuff just to be on camera. I don't know what's wrong with these people. Uh, sure, but let's see them act crazy. Yeah, let's watch. We're just catching them. I like Aguilar and his mishaps. I like to put that out there. So how are you coping with all the fame? <laughs> One man says he heard it all. Joining me right now is Jennifer Lopez. She is the executive, oh. or not Jennifer. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Lindsay Lopez. Maybe just the possibility. Whoa. Hey, Kat. Hey, Kat. Hey, Kat. Hey, Kat. Hey, Kat. Oh, my God. I'm going to move you. And joining me this morning is one of the board members. We had uh, Glenn here, uh, but apparently he decided to bail. So uh, we've got, jeez, uh, I'm told, I'm sorry, terrible. We have, Aww. say your name. This is terrible. This is what happens. I'm Noah Henricks. Noah Henricks. Welcome to the morning show, everybody. Hey, you, Mark. What's Noah Henry? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm dodging the issues in 2020. Yes. You better dodge. You know why he's trying to be on camera? Leave him alone. Why are y'all chasing him? Get ready to say. Get ready to say. How long have you been stuck here? Uh, about 45 minutes. 45 minutes. Yeah. And you were walking up and down. What did you see when you went up there? Did you talk to some of those people that were waiting as well? Yeah, I did. I thought I was going to be a little slick and try to take the shoulder all the way in, but didn't work. Lots of flooding here. You don't know when you're going to be able to get up there, huh? No, I got a bag of pork grinds in the truck, and I reckon I'm just going to stay out here and eat my pork grinds and <laughs> hang out. I might take a nap for a little while. And relax Country. a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you so much to talk, for talking to grind. us. Thank Hopefully you. you get to, you get by pretty thank soon. You. And this is what we're seeing here. Would you like some gum? Big Lee? You know, it's Sandlot night tonight. Oh, it has been long. You love the Big Lee. It's Sandlot night tonight. Okay. You know the line from the Sandlot, right? You're... You got me, big. You're killing me, Biggs. Small! Biggs! Give me the... Give, 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 Give me the gum back. Give me the gum back. Give... Run. What the hell? We're done. You're killing me, Vince. You're killing me. How are you supposed to remember that from that old ass movie? What is that? I don't even remember that. No, I used to love that movie. I watched that many times. You're getting mad because it's snowing, but it's winter outside. I mean, we are a bunch of weird people, okay? If it was summer, and it was snowing. Yes, it is winter. Diane Joshua has <laughs> strong feelings about the snow. It's winter. Hello, it's winter. Hello, about three, four weeks ago, it was what? Three degrees outside. It's a heat wave out here now. Hello, it's winter. Yes, I'm not surprised. I love it. It's winter. <laughs> let's let's work with it. Go on, it's a heat wave. <laughs> it's a heat wave. Three degrees three weeks ago. How soon we forget. <laughs> she like, Our camera happy. was rolling as we chased down the woman accused of stealing an SUV from the Ace Renner car Thursday afternoon. Girl, Employees say they I found her with a stolen I, car I at the it. travel lodge off Airport Road. So did you steal the car? Oh, I don't know what you're speaking about, ma'am. Well, we have you on video wearing that same outfit. <laughs> oh, really? That's nice. Why did you take the car? <laughs> What's that crazy girl? Uh, Lovely. Her enough that it brought her down, and um, yeah, brought her down onto Precious my something? Subaru. The one this who uh, said she killed her baby. That's just buckled like. under the rain, and the rain brought her down with a whole mass of like earth and bricks. Damn. Then like hear this sound that's like. <sighs> we're like, what is that? <laughs> and then it turns out that it was the gas line. Like, he hides. I was like. <sighs> <laughs> Ever since I moved in here, that wall, I mean, that wall looks sketchy. 
está lloviendo y la pared colapsó uh, en mi carro. ¿Tú oíste el ruido? Sí, como una explosión. Now, would you be prepared to give up flying for a whole year to help the planet? Well, the Flight Free campaign wants us to do just that. It wants 100,000 people to promise to give up flying for 2020. And one of those asking us to do that will be doing it herself as environmental campaigner Anna Hughes. Good morning okay. to I am you. not Anna Hughes. I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. Mm. No, I'm not Anna Hughes. Sorry about that. <laughs> oh, I... D I think you're not Leah Salonga. Yes, I am Leah Salonga. Leah Salonga. Well, honestly, you have been brought in. <laughs> you know, I, when she sat I was thinking, I'm sure that's Leah Salonga. But <laughs> yeah, I am. Well, look, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Have we got, do you, you want to do this now or should we go to a break? What we're going to do, Leah, okay. and I do apologise. <laughs> I was like, what's a, going it's on? Head to a, it's head to a break. Okay. Yes, Justin, uh, you have a relationship with uh, Mike Marshall there in the <laughs> WDRB, dating his daughter. Do you, any few words you want to say to Mike, you know, about uh, about the upcoming season, how you're doing, the relationship, um, <laughs> the news, that kind of thing? No, nope, uh, just want to say thank you to Mike. Uh, you know, he, he loves coming to the games. Uh, he, he always posts pictures on Twitter, um, but he's, he's the real deal. So, that's what What's up, Mike? <laughs> Awkward. Just remember, Justin, keep your hand on the ball and off my daughter. <laughs> you know he not. What's he talking about? <laughs> Keith, can you relay that message? <laughs> okay, I'll relay. Uh, Mike said, keep your hand on the ball and not on his daughter. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> hey, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, the first 50 people in line today, they do get Jolly Bee <laughs> Crispy Chicken for a year. They get a bucket of he six wants pieces else. He was uh, on that. each month. I think that's the now, code. I have got the 50th person in line, Ken Mercado here with me. What time did you get her at? Uh, we go here after our class around 3.30, and then we just stay here and then put our name there. Are you are you skipping any uh, important engagements today, or do you have the day off? Uh, day off. Day uh, off. Yeah. Okay, now, I've also got number 51. Gabriel Batiste here with me. You missed it out by one person. Do you do you know Ken? Are you guys friends? No, I don't know him. So oh, okay. So what would you what can you offer Ken to get his fiftieth place? You probably don't want to know, but I would take anything. Even in the butt. <laughs> what I like money. How much would you pay to get his spot? In the butt. Oh, probably not over three hundred dollars. Three hundred bucks. Would you take three hundred bucks? No. 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 Three hundred and one. No. Three hundred and two. No, no, no. A man says he was on his Porsche Monday morning watching a crew from the city of Huntington cut down an old tree next to Central City Elementary School. He says neighbors have been making requests for years trying to get the tree brought down. And that tree's been dropping stuff forever. He says just a few weeks ago during a storm, a limb was blown off that tree onto the windshield of a neighbor's parked truck. You go to get a tree cut and it takes out a car. Come on now. We can do better than this. Billy Tatum was on this porch Monday morning across from Central City Elementary playing cards and watching a City of Huntington crew work on cutting the tree down. The witness says he watched in disbelief Monday as the tree was cut down mm. and landed right onto a parked vehicle, totaling it. That's a, that's a car-eating tree there. Flattened it like a pancake from back seat to the uh, tail. And I said, oh, whoops. We're told that car no. belongs to a Marshall student. You can imagine how upset she had to be when she came outside and saw her car looking like this. Here's a little of what that witness had to say. It sounded like a beer can getting flattened. It just was crunch. It was, your teeth I hate is to say so it, it was yellow. Kind of cool, you know? I Brush mean, your what, teeth. Guy, what, you know, doesn't like, you know, destruction. Yeah, you know, that's why we go to demolition derbies. But hey, you know, bottom line, Ew, that's uh, they so yellow, they're like brown. School now. That's just nasty. Chunk it up to a Monday. Good morning, Mr. Ben Schwartz. Hey, I got to tell you right off the bat, the most exciting part of this is it's like the way that I hear you in my ear is as if you are underneath three pillows and a big machine that's whirring real loud. So if I don't hear what you're saying, I'm just going to make up your question and then answer <laughs> it. I, that is the best thing possible. That is Can hilarious. I have a million dollars? Oh, I didn't hear you said. I'm gonna assume you oh. said, "How are you, Ben?" And I'm gonna say, "I'm doing well, buddy." That's exactly. <laughs> the, How are you in Bakersfield? That's exactly what I said. All right, well, let's get down to this. First off, um, 
You're joining us because you want to talk about fashion. I want to get to Sonic, but I want to get to what you're talking about first. No, no, and you're talking it. about fashion and this jacket towel. No, no, okay, uh, now what I heard is, I think you called me a butt face. I don't know why. That's exactly what no, I but said. But then I heard the word jacket, and this this much I do know. Uh, you did call me butt face. I haven't heard that since I've been a kid, but I get it. My oh, face you're welcome. like a butt. You, you nailed me. I don't know why you had to take me down so early in the morning in California. But I'm here right now because those no, 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 no. came up to me, and they said, we have someone called Summer Essentials, and I said, I don't, I don't know what that means. And they said, oh, we were making a jacket made out of a towel. It's called a towel jacket, in association with Basque. And it's going to cost a bunch of money. You can get it online at joseckies.com. And I said, that sounds ludicrous. And they said, yeah, do you want to help out tell people about it? And I go, 100% yes. And that's why we're here today. I like it. Um, uh, so the jacket towel seems to be like a great retro way to bring back things. And retro, let's get to Sonic the Hedgehog. Are you excited to play Sonic? <laughs> I... I'm a, I don't know why you just called me a, a, a brain, a brainless man. I don't know why you're ragging on me. Who are so you? I heard the word Sonic the Hedgehog. So yeah. my assumption is you asked, you asked the, you asked the question, what's it like being Sonic the Hedgehog? Is that correct? Okay, he was doing the most. He know damn well he heard some of these words. He was making shit up. Um, hey, this is a cool little compilation of some funny interviews. Some of these people were funny. They were saying some crazy shit. That one dude, he needs to brush his goddamn teeth before he get on somebody's camera. Like, what is you doing? Anyway, let me know what y'all thought. Let me know what other videos you want me to react to, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!